Okay, I left Warner Brothers. I had the good fortune of meeting Hank Ketchum, and he liked my work and hired me as his assistant. So, for a period of time, I did I drew the dentist in the Sunday page and illustrated a number of Dennis children's books. And uh, he was a fun time in my life and a fun character to draw. And fortunately, my animation background helped me a great deal and I could have been a Disney uh, Disney animation um, before he got into newspaper comics uh, newspaper cartoons and then the, the Dennis comic strip so he was impressed with my background as young as I was and gave me a chance to be his assistant so I ended up Drawing the little guy for about four years, and it was a fun time. Hank was a great guy to work for. cocky little kid and as a cartoon character and the real Dennis was somewhat similar. So I'll put a little color on him. Toehead in real life as well as in his cartoon character. Working for Hank was when I really learned to draw because he, uh, my drawing board was just a mixed alcove from his. We had a cabana by a large swimming pool at his home, and uh, he pretty much was right there checking what I did and giving me invaluable tips on how to be a better cartoonist. And, uh, never regretted that experience. I wonder if you have a comic strip of my own. That's how I met Hank. I had a teenage idea while I was working at Warner Brothers and had no idea, no knowledge on how to uh, submit a comic strip idea to a newspaper syndicate. And it was suggested I write to Hank. He invited me to his ranch in Carmel Valley. So I left the Warner Brothers, drove to Carmel Valley after a very nice invitation from him. He interviewed me and out of the blue said, would you like to be my assistant? So I shelled my cart to my teenage comic strip idea for a number of years and Hank had moved to Switzerland and I was working in Carmel Valley with Dennis so I fired off a, my teenage comic strip idea to a number of syndicates and fortunately for me King Features uh, liked the idea and put me under contract and the uh, next thing I knew I'm drawing a uh,
cute little girl. Oh, ponytail. And uh, eventually about 300 newspapers daily on Sunday and before my 30th birthday. So I was a very, very lucky young man. color on her, see what she's got to say. I guess there was a story floating around that Dennis was, uh, our ponytail was actually Dennis's babysitter. But not true. Both of them are very important parts of my life, obviously. Here they both are. Not quite perfect drawings, but uh, they are quick, and it's been fun all these years. <laughs> 